I'm Alex Frank of the Perfect Season Podcast, and here is your Saturday morning sports update. Only one college basketball game in the top 25 Friday night. Number 25, Iowa got the win over Nebraska 88-78, to but a loaded slate of top 25 games today. The action gets underway at noon on ESPN as number four, Purdue, visits Michigan State. The game of the night is tonight in Waco, Texas, a top 10 matchup as number 10 Baylor hosts number 5 Kansas at 8 o'clock on ESPN. So much action beforehand, though. CBS has a doubleheader starting at 2 o'clock as number 6 Kentucky travels to number 18 Arkansas. That's followed by number 12 UCLA traveling to Corvallis to take on Oregon State at 4 o'clock. Number 3 Auburn heads to Knoxville to battle number 17 Tennessee at 4 o'clock on ESPN, followed by number 7 Duke. Battling Syracuse in the Carrier Dome at 6 o'clock, potentially the last game that Mike Krzyzewski and Jim Beheim coached against each other in history. Number 20, Texas heads to Morgantown to face West Virginia at 2 o'clock on ESPN2. Number 19, Murray State, fresh off clinching the OVC regular season title, will travel to face Southeast Missouri State at 5 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. ESPN 2 at 6, number 9, Texas Tech is at TCU, followed by number 2, Arizona at Colorado at 8 o'clock, and then number 16, USC at Oregon at 10 o'clock. Huge game today in Piscataway, New Jersey, as number 13, Wisconsin, will be in town to take on Rutgers at 6 o'clock on the Big Ten Network. Number 24, Alabama, will host South Carolina at 6 o'clock on the SEC Network. Number 11, Providence tonight hosts Creighton. 8.30 tip on FS1. And the top team in the country, Gonzaga, is on the road in Moraga, California, to take on number 23, St. Mary's, at 10 o'clock on ESPN. Wow, what a loaded day. And a look at the standings, where we start in the Big Ten. A tie atop the standings, Wisconsin and Purdue. Illinois trails by one game. Ohio State a game and a half behind. Rutgers and Iowa each three games back. In the Big 12, it's Kansas once again at the top, a game and a half up on Texas Tech and Baylor. Down south, Auburn leads Kentucky by one game in the SEC. Arkansas and Tennessee each two games back. ACC, Duke leads Notre Dame by one game. Miami and North Carolina each two games back. Pac-12, Arizona closing in on the regular season title as they lead USC by two and a half games. And in the Big East, Providence Leads Villanova by just a half game. NBA Friday night, despite R.J. Barrett's career-high 46 points, Miami beat the Knicks in the Garden by 15, 115 to 100. The Clippers rallied from six down, down six after three quarters to beat the Lakers 105 to 102 and get to 500 on the season. James Harden, in his 76ers debut, finished two rebounds shy of a triple-double as Philly routed Minnesota 133 to 102. Charlotte. Crushing Toronto, 125-93. Shea Gilgis Alexander's three-point basket with 20.4 seconds left in overtime lifted the Thunder, 129-125 over Indiana. A double overtime game in the nation's capital. San Antonio beat the Wizards 157-153 as Greg Popovich moves to within one game of Lenny Wilkins' all-time NBA head coaching wins record. Orlando beat Houston 119-111. C.J. McCollum scored 32 points as the Pelicans snapped the Suns' eight-game winning streak with a 117-103 win and a close one in Salt Lake City. Donovan Mitchell banged a career-high seven threes as Utah beat Dallas 114-109. Coming up tonight, Saturday night, primetime on ABC features a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference semifinals as Brooklyn travels to Milwaukee, a 30 tip on ABC. Not much change in the standings. But Chicago and Miami are now tied atop the Eastern Conference. NHL Friday night, a wild one in Chicago saw Patrick Lane and Brandon Hagel each get a hat trick. Blackhawks beat the Devils 8-5. Patrick Lane's 11-game scoring streak was snapped as Columbus was shut out by Carolina 4-0. St. Louis won its third straight game and picked up a point in its sixth straight game, beating Buffalo 5-3. Colorado, after being down 3-0 after the first period, scored six straight goals to beat the Winnipeg Jets 6-3. Scott Wedgwood made 43 saves as Arizona upset Vegas 3-1. Adrian Kempa scored two goals and dished out an assist as L.A. beat Anaheim 4-1. Not much change 
actually no changes at all in the standings in the National Hockey League. Today, ABC at 3 will have the Rangers at the Penguins. Then, it's the Stadium Series as the Predators host the Lightning from Nissan Stadium in Nashville on TNT at 7.30. Early in the afternoon, NHL Network at 12.30 will have the Capitals at the Flyers. I'm Alex Frank for the Perfect Season Podcast, and that is your Saturday morning sports update.